So now we'll create the user's profile controller and the view, which will set us up so we can output the list of the user's friends eventually. We can output the user's statuses uh, and anything else you want to add to the user's profile. But for now, we'll just be creating the base of this, adding in the user block that we created uh, a couple of videos ago. And we will also hook up our navigation because at the moment, when I click on this here, it doesn't do anything. And we'll also hook up these. When I click on these, they don't do anything. So this will be for any user. We'll be able to see their profile now. So we obviously need to create a controller for this. So we're going to create a profile controller just in here. And we can again copy this over from something like the search controller. We can just tidy up what we don't need. Let's paste this in. Uh, we'll obviously need our user model in there. We don't need our database facade in there either. And we do need our request eventually. We're going to need this for when we update our profile. Uh, so let's change the name of the pro, uh, controller to profile controller. Let's get rid of this method here, which we don't need. OK, so uh, what we're going to implement now is get profile, which is just going to show a user's profile. And we need to pass in a username to this within our root. And we'll look at how this works in a moment. So let's just do a die and dump on username. So if we head over to our roots file, then let's go and add user profile as a comment here. And the root here is going to be, we'll see a get request to this page and it's going to be forward slash user. And then we have this username placeholder in there, which will obviously be the user's name. We have our array as usual. And we're just, I'm just going to literally copy and paste this just to save time. You can do the same. We're going to change this to profile controller. And this will be get profile. And then obviously for here, we're just going to say something like profile.index. OK, so now that we've got this, we can actually start to hook up our user block that we created earlier. So under user partials user block, we can go and update this. So the way that we work with um, roots with placeholders in is we define the root as normal. So we say root profile dot index. And then as a second argument, we pass in the name of that placeholder. And then we give the value. So we know because a user exists in here, we can just say user username. This will just allow us to pass in the username, not the full name, because obviously that changes. So we want something that will be consistent. So now that we've done that, not only have we finished our user block, but we can now actually click through onto the user's profile. So if I click Dale Garrett, you can see that that will go through to. OK, so I think we have, at, of course, we updated the href for the profile picture. And we didn't do that for the actual text. So let's paste that in there. And let's refresh. So we can now click on the profile picture that goes through to Dale. We can click on the, the text as well. And that's the same for Billy. So we've got the actual route sorted. Now we just need to do the uh, view for the user's profile. So under the profile controller, then we want to obviously return a view here. So we're going to say return view profile dot index. But before we do that, let's just check if the user exists. We need to obviously grab the user anyway. So we may as well get this over and done with now. We're going to say user where username equals that username we've passed in. We're going to grab the first result. We're going to check here if that's null. And if so, we're going to abort with the 404 status code. So what that means is when I hit a normal page like that, obviously we get this error because we don't have our view. But if I was to upload a rubbish in here, you can see that we get, sorry, the page you are looking for cannot be found. And that throws a not found HTTP exception. We'll be implementing a custom 404 later on. So now to sort out our root, or our view rather, profile.index, it doesn't exist at the moment. So let's create that now. So under views, then we want to create a new folder called profile. And then in here, we'll create a new file and we'll call this 
index.blade.php. And again, as part of the course downloads, you can go ahead and download the markup for this. It looks like this. We won't paste that in just yet. What we will do is we'll steal the template structure from the home page again, paste that in, and then we can get rid of this content. And you can go ahead and paste in the markup from the course download. Or of course, you could write this out. It's entirely up to you. So this section here is a five column width uh, column which contains the user information and statuses, and this will be the friends and friends requests. We don't actually have any information in this view at the moment. This is going to work, but we can't see anything. We don't have any user passed to this view. So what we need to do from here is we need to say with user user, and I'm gonna pull this down because later on we're gonna have, uh, be sending through quite a bit of data to here. So we now have that user, and we can go ahead and start to output what we need. Now remember, our user block deals with this user variable. So all we need to do is inside of here, just go ahead and include that user block. So it's user.partials.user block. And I'm just gonna do a horizontal line there. You can obviously do whatever you want. So now we have Billy's profile information there with a line underneath. You can see that that's the column for our statuses, and then here will be our friends, friend requests, things like that. So now that we've done that, we have created a user profile. We can search for another user and go ahead and click on their profile as well. And we're in uh, a good position to go ahead and start to add more to this page. Lastly, I'm just gonna update this link in the navigation here to my own profile. So if we go over to our templates, partials, navigation, and you can see here, we've got our username here with the href of hash. We'll change this to root profile.index. And again, remember we pass an array here. We choose the username. And for, in this case, because it's the currently authenticated user, what we need to do is say auth user username like that. So we can refresh now. We can click on this and I can see my own profile.